Thank you so much, Dimitri. The roses are wonderful. Mmm. I was fixing the closet, then I found some shoes. Who do you think those shoes belong to? Do you have any idea? Hmm, <sighs> they're likely our shoes. No way, how so? I've never seen them. <laughs> We took Maria on a trip, you know. Well, just in case. Her friend has a well-defended bunker there, somewhere in the countryside. That is a smart thing to do. I think you don't like me. <laughs> Chekhov once said, I am not a silver token for all to like me. <laughs> of course. But that quote was not Chekhov's. It was Bunin. Ah, uh, he pointed out my ignorance there. As you can imagine, I now like you even less than a minute ago. Uh, where in Moscow do you live? Which neighborhood? The old Arbat. Uh, I'm also a Moscovite. Yeah? Really? Never knew. You don't really talk about it. I did long ago. What? I didn't have time to tell you. Well, you have time right now. <sighs> no, no. I am still a Moscovite. A wannabe, Moscovite. A wannabe? Exactly. A wannabe Moscovite. Not entirely real. I just turned three years old when my parents left Moscow. And they took me with them to Siberia to start anew. The two of them were absolute hopeless romantics. Since then, I haven't been to Moscow even once. It's not too late to change that. I don't remember a thing. <laughs> Not a single one. Except the two ash trees that I remember. So, two trees. <clears throat> two ash trees. In our yard, there were two ancient ash trees. Uh, can you tell me again? Um, about the two ash trees? Yes. In our yard... There were these two ash trees. Oh, I see. How are they? Huge and beautiful. Under um, them, there was this set of old swings. Ash trees... Creek, creek, creek. ...on the plot. So how are they, those ash trees? No, it's not actually that, uh... I, I will smoke. Uh, uh, is that alright? Yeah, of course you may. I'm against it. We agreed you'll only smoke three cigarettes per week. Today doesn't count. So can I ask you honestly, will you take my daughter to Moscow as well? M Mom, wait. You're getting ahead of yourself. Did you, you forget that my favorite book is Anna Karenina? Okay then, young man. If you could allow me to ask you one very unpleasant question. Mom, I forbid it. Who's the bad cop, me or you? Now, as far as I understand, you are planning on relocating my daughter to Moscow, and that is great. But tell me what her role will be in your life. Mother, please. Please be quiet. Perhaps you have a harem there at the old Arbat. What if your name is actually Ibrahim? In <clears throat> Ina, I am married. I am married, but... 
Don't do that. I can relax now and I'll be okay. Dimitri, I'm sorry, I won't see you off. I'll call you. She has not left her room all day. It's half past seven. Yes, I tried calling her as well. Her phone's off. We called her three times. We just wanted to clean the room. No response. Miss Olga. Miss Olga. Oh, Miss Olga. <gasps> Please forgive me. You weren't picking up the phone. Hmm. Hey, Sherlock. <laughs> so you just thought that I drank something and I... Ended my life. You weren't answering many calls. <laughs> no chance. I will never kill myself, you got that? I just took two pills instead of one. I just wanted to sleep. Mm. Anyway, listen. My mouth feels like the Sahara and Mojave Desert. Water, please. Ah, hold on. Today is New Year's. What do you want to do? Should I buy a return ticket? What, do you want to get rid of me? Already? I'm actually not in a hurry. If it is true that my husband decided to stage this unfortunate revelation... <laughs> You staged it yourself. Whatever. I demand that the fun should continue, Sherlock. Now, where do we start my tour of this city, huh? <laughs> Show me the tourist destinations around here. Maybe the zoo, <laughs> the planetarium, and the history museum. I think you've had too much. You aren't looking after yourself. <sighs> Two tablets and half a bottle of whiskey. What are you doing, Olga? Fear God's wrath. <laughs> Tell me, does he even fear God? <laughs> My husband, is he afraid of God? <laughs> Easy. <laughs> it's not really the cheating that hurts so bad. I wanted a child. And he wasn't really worried that I couldn't. And now I understand why. <laughs> Do you know why? No need. Don't torture yourself. Calm it's down. It's because he already has his own kid right here in this place, in this old dump that you call your town. Did you know? <laughs> this town is not a dump. It's a rich town for research. If you really do want a tour of the town, then I will gladly take you tomorrow, okay? Maybe I could be your guide. I just want to die. Do you feel better? Yes, I suppose. I'm fine. I seriously can't believe that he asked me if I liked him or not. 
And whether I like him or not, that is completely irrelevant right now. And it's too late now to tell you to be careful as well. It's not like you had just met him recently. You and I both know that you know this gentleman well enough. You even managed to give birth to his only child. How did you know it was him? Seriously, it's pretty obvious. And Maria even laughs a lot like this Moscovite of yours. They make the same face while they are thinking. So do you know what you are going to do with this guest from the distant past? I don't know. I love him. Then and now I love him. Good evening. Key for room 521, please. Here you go. They're waiting. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, thank you, sir. Happy New Year. Thank you. All right. <laughs> you don't seem surprised. What is the surprise? That you have arrived yesterday or your detective? That you followed me around all day? What should I say about that? So who ratted me out? Hmm, Seva. You gave him up so easily. I cheated on you. You could have told me about your first love. <laughs> and how the two of you had a daughter together. I would have understood. I would have accepted it as an uncomfortable fact. What first love? What daughter? What are you talking about? About how you poorly treated me. Nothing to do with your daughter, but how you lied about it. Olga. Olga. I may be leaving, disappearing, but know this. I am disappearing from Ensk, but not from so your life. So you don't life. want a divorce? Not a chance, my <laughs> So love. what else do you want from me? You said it, I'm just trash. Listen, I will leave all the properties to mm -hmm. you. And your mom? Is it so easy for you to leave a woman who spent ten years with? So why do you need me? Scum. Cheater. A heartless scum. Let me go, Olga. I do love her. Let me go, Olga! We'll talk in Moscow.
Hello, where are you? At the hotel. I'm coming to you. How is your mom? My mom? She's better. She fell asleep in bed. Uh-huh. She told me to go to you now. I'll wait for you. Thank you. Attention all passengers boarding on gate 13. Due to bad weather, your flight is... The flight's delayed for two hours. We apologize That's for bad weather. Cost. Just leave me, Sherlock. No, I will see you off. No, you may not. Oh, I forgot something. 1,000 euro, the service fee for your work. I won't be charging you. You and I signed a contract. You already have received 200 euros. I'm returning the money you gave me. So then why are you doing this? Are you some sort of philanthropist or volunteer working for free? I'm not joking, just go back to my husband's hotel already. <sighs> have you not had enough yet? I just have a bad feeling. Intuition. Yeah, I suppose. You really love him? Could you please just leave? I will pay you. Even more. It's you? Yes. I didn't recognize you. But now I do. Back then I just knew. It is. Are there Chinese people in Chinatown? In Chinatown? <laughs> Are there Chinese people there? On one side, the Chinese. On the other, Koreans. Do you remember you left me a note at the station? It had your address. <laughs> yeah. I lost that note right there on the platform at the station. Yeah? <laughs> so I didn't have it anymore. <laughs> you lost it on the platform. With my surname, would you have tried to find me? 
I knew it. Um, I, I looked for you. What's your surname? Kasyonova. Yeah? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't believe you. <laughs> I remember. I remember that night. Your every word and your every movement. I fell in love with you in an instant. And you were scared. Running alongside the train. Scared. Listen, I... You were there, and I was outside, then the train started moving. Maybe only then... <laughs> only then did I realize that I was in love. Thank you. Happy New Year. Right. You don't recognize me? We purchased wine at the liquor store. Took time with the friends that were late for our train. You're mistaken. We've never met. <laughs> it's okay. Happy New Year. And you are? In transit. As recompense for my sins, I'm stuck here for three days. You know, I'm prepared to keep you company. You from Moscow? May I ask for a cigarette? You may. But here it's non-smoking zone. No, can you imagine how a 15-year-old schoolgirl felt like when she found out that she was actually pregnant? I mean, you are this schoolgirl in this brown school uniform with this apron. Under the uniform, you have a growing belly and, and then there's not a single thing that you can do about it. And suddenly, the apron no longer fits around your waist. <laughs> and now you need to explain to everyone what in the world is going on. The teachers, my schoolmates. <laughs> and to my mom, do you know how that felt? Just try to imagine. My mom, my mom, she was almost dragged right away by social services. Of course, sure, 1991 isn't 1951, but it's a black mark on a school. A permanent stain on its name. Our reputation? Mom was attacked by everyone. Kids from other schools came to look at me, a victim of premarital sex. <laughs> I couldn't leave the house. It was only school that it was time for me to rush home. I needed to get myself home as fast as possible. <laughs> I thank my mom. My mom told me during that time, listen, we will keep her. And we did. And then it turned out that life in that town was impossible. We sold our tiny room in Medjdureshensk and moved to Ensk. At least there, no one hissed at you. Underage whore. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Since we're confessing here, I came to look for you in... Moscow. What year was it? I think 1993. 
Yes, 1993 winter. I was on midterm holidays. I arrived in Moscow and then I went to an address on Yeoskaya Street. And then your friend opens the door, I think. Siva. He opens the door drunk. Hello there, lady. And I said, good day, young man. Is Dimitri here? He then says, Dimitri's married. He got married two months ago. He had married a young wife who is very pretty and she is seriously an awesome chick. <laughs> the daughter of a big state minister, in fact. <laughs> so that's <laughs> too bad. You got unlucky. Keep moving towards your Siberian trails. <laughs> so get your bag to the station. Goodbye. <laughs> you know... <laughs> And that's when I had a bit of a breakdown, a nervous breakdown. I sat there in the snow and cried my eyes out, literally crying in the snow as people are walking past me. And here I am wailing. That's where my search ends. Dimitri, we met again. It's great that we have Maria. Yeah. Why did you hide? That it was actually you at the airport. Why ask? Hey there. Good evening, sir. Which room is Dmitri Platanov staying in? No, we can't release that information to the public. We aren't the public, lady. We're business partners. We really need to talk. Is he here? Can you call him to come down, please? I'm sorry, but I'm not going to call. It is already one in the morning. What if I ask you really nicely? We have an emergency. I need to talk to him. Right now. Take your money. Or I'll call the police. Hello? Can you hear me? Reporting. You wanted to see him. Uh-huh. Thanks, Jenya. You're asking why I didn't tell you? Because I wasn't sure if it was you. <laughs> and then I wanted to observe, watch you, and check. Check me? No, to check myself. Hold on. Eliana, you mean all this time you were trying to assess me? Was this a test of my viability? Dimitri, please listen. No, Eliana. Hold on, listen. you knew that I, I I I searched for you? Please listen. You you knew that? I said listen to me now. You live in some kind of world where everything is just perfect. You tried so hard in creating this, this imaginary world, get it? And you are still living in it. If you just lived in the present, right now, everything would be simpler. And there'd be no problems.
Right. Alyona? Alyona? You brought your jacket to keep you warm. I don't know how easily cold you get. Oh no, oh, no. no it's the boy. Be careful with your bags, okay? Make sure not to lose it. You're not bothered by this? Excuse me, sir. What time do you have the bathroom? Okay. Hello? <sighs> yes, Miss Eugenia. How come you're not asleep? Me? No, I'm in Moscow. Ahead of everyone? I'm not answering the landline because I'm in the countryside tonight. Dimitri's still in Ensk. Mm-hmm. All right. Guess what? Guess I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. Meaning... Did you try? I know. That's right. I'll be staying here. Turns out I like this town after all. Hi there, remember me? Oh no, let them school you a bit. Hey you, leave him alone! What? The next one will hit you. Get lost! Are you insane? <laughs> I warned you. Come on. Let's go hurry. Come on. Hurry. Let's go. Let's go. Faster. Alive? Alive. <sighs> I'm alive. Getting up? There. What? Uh, say say what? Oh, there she is. What happened? Get up now, get up. Oh, Dimitri! Easy, easy. easy. Come on. <sighs> well, he clearly dodged a bullet. Most importantly, the ribs are intact. No concussion, either. 
He is one tough cookie. When can I go and see him? He is sleeping, and he'll sleep for a while. When he wakes up, we'll start with the rehabilitation. He lost a lot of blood. He will be needing a full week's rest. A drip, vitamins. Uh, could you transfer him to a separate ward, please? How much would that cost? A separate ward has been paid for. Already paid for the entire week. What? Who? Her. She has been here for an hour already. Whilst you were by the surgery, filling in the paperwork there in the front desk, she paid for a separate ward. But who is she? Well, to him, his wife. You will not have him. He will come around. He will get better. I will take him home to Moscow. He will never come back here again. And I know you too have a child. I will not get in his way from communicating with his daughter or let her come to Moscow, that's fine. But you? As for you, well, you better leave him alone. You should back off, do you hear me? He must decide for himself who he wants to be with, with you or me. The woman always decides. You are wrong. The man always decides. I would like to thank you. For what? Because if it weren't for you... <sighs> oh, well. I finally earned a kiss. Now it's just a step until I... Earn a slap. What does that mean? There by the hotel when he was being beaten. I was in the car just sitting and watching. Why is that? Because he, uh... Because I do not really like him at all. <laughs> well? Where's my slap? What, are you too scared? Uh, I'm not. <laughs> it's just that a slap, a slap is a lot more intimate than a simple kiss. As it turns out, the only person who I can slap is my husband. <laughs> what do you mean, husband? But you no longer have one. <laughs> Thank you.
That's not true. I have a husband. Get in the vehicle. Cry if you want, or just hit me. If you want, I can take you there to the airport, or... or the hotel. How do you know all of this? What do you even know? We lived together for 10 years. Well, you see, I'm not the worst detective. I have a niche as well. My specialty is cheating spouses. I choked a few of those dogs. Oh, those poor animals. And what was your verdict, dog choker? You know it yourself. He won't come back to you. How can you be so sure? <laughs> anyway, you leave now, it will just hurt a bit. If you continue on as is, it will hurt for long. And the longer, the worse the pain. Alright. So, airport? You'll cool off in Moscow, think with clarity. You'll discuss the matter with your lawyer, assess everything. Eventually you'll... then meet... your sweet injured polyamorist. <laughs> and you will have a different conversation from a position of power with a lawyer present than a divorce. Divide everything. At least I did everything I possibly could for him. You saved him. And let him go, free as the wind. Generous of you. Bravo. To the airport. Sherlock, what is your name? Yuri. My name's Yuri. I think that's a good name. A normal name. No. It is good. It sounds honest. I like it a lot. It's restricted. Don't chase her. All right. Five minutes. Is that Moroccan? Are you hungry? What, are we close now? Why should I call you sir in this day and age? It's not the 19th century. And you and I? We're living in the 21st century. Am I right? Father? Who told you that? Your mom? Not really. I figured it out. Come on.
Excuse me, miss, but I have to check the drip. Could they talk for just a little while longer? They really need to talk to each other. Please, I'm begging. <laughs> Don't cry, ma'am. We're going to patch your husband up real quick. We cause trouble and then we don't know how to deal with it. And why do you think he was the one who caused trouble? You saw the type of injuries he sustained. Do not worry. The worst is behind us. And what if it's not? What if it's just the beginning? The good? The beginning of all that's good? <laughs>